The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, away. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians first. He is the... Fu- <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm presenting him. <laughs> he, he is the 2021 funniest uh, person in Wichita, Kansas, none other than the wreck himself, Mr. Derek Alders. <laughs> Very happy to be here. Yeah, I know. I can already tell. You're looking great. Yeah. But also a much... Bumped. Yeah. A much funnier comedian. Uh, <laughs> Very much so, yes. <laughs> no, I, I'm not going to dispute that. None other than Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hey. Hi, guys. Hey, what's up? Nothing. I got too high. Did you? Yeah, I, I knew the, the last time I was here towards the end, I was like, I'm not high anymore. So this time I was like, I'm going to get extra high so it'll last longer. Got it. But that's not how pot works. <laughs> it doesn't just make me regular high longer. It just makes me super high for now. And I'm still going to be sober by the end of the show. But, but for now, hey. <laughs> Oh, shit. We got an excellent post-Super Bowl episode, and we are going on vacation. Starting at the end of this episode, we will have a couple of hit episodes that we're going to show over the next, uh, I believe, two to three weeks. Uh, And I'll try to give you as much of a heads up while we're on our vacation. Derek's going to someplace foreign, so he's, you know, got to be safe with all that shit. Um, But, yeah, so I want to give you guys as much of a heads up as possible. And I will remind you at the end of the episode as well. Um, But I just want to get away from you. I know. He's going to other countries. That's, yeah, he's got to get away from me, like, really far away Mm, from me. As far as possible. Yeah. They don't even know how to say Scotty in Spanish. I Yeah, I don't think that that's actually a Mm, word. I think it's retrasado is how you say it. Is it, what does retrasado mean? Retarded. <laughs> okay, got it. Uh, I learned that today, so I can tell did, you. I that. was going to say, did you look that up just to say it right now? <laughs> I didn't even look it up. I asked a lady I work with how to say ah, it. Ah, nice. Is yeah. it the autistic chick? No, oh. no. She threw her back out. Oh. <laughs> probably counting cards or something. <laughs> okay. So, so she... <laughs> I don't understand that, but it made me laugh. That's, that's all comedy has to do is tickle you. It doesn't have to uh, convince you of anything real, you know? Right. Oh, shit. Uh, but no, we got an excellent episode. Obviously, we had the Super Bowl over the last uh, last couple of days. Uh, we've got overrated, underrated. Google this. Questions and preguntas is always a good draft and shitty situation. But if this is the very first time you are listening to the Laughing in the Sideline podcast, this is is a comedy podcast where we like to use inappropriate uh, language and make lo- uh, jokes and be loud and all that other stuff. And yeah, if you don't like it, you're in the wrong place. Bye. Okay. Uh, but before we get to the sports and stuff like that, we're going to talk about what happened to us over the last week. Um, we call it our week, week recap. And as always, the guest goes first. Uh, and you're not kind of not even a guest. This is the second time you've been on the show. We'll, we'll call you, you know, I, I a mean, temp. I, I feel like a, a guest. Okay. I'd rather be a guest because then I, if I am something else, then I'm like, Ugh, I got to go to work. <laughs> I fucking know, <laughs> dude. Right? right? No. So, yeah, no. I mean, even today I was like, man, if, if this was my job, I would call in <laughs> sick. <laughs> but I was like, but I'm just a guest. So I don't want to be a dick to the guys like dude i was watching jack ryan and uh, oh nice okay i just you. got into it i'm like two episodes in and oh, i'm yeah. like the terrorists are nice too <laughs> like i care about everybody <laughs> so i'm excited to get back to that but anyway well okay so that's my week week recap is yeah just jack ryan i did some shows in uh illinois me and uh steve peters yeah you know, steve, 
Yeah, we we drove eight hours to Illinois and my little Honda fit together. So Jesus Christ, he got to have his knees next to his ears basically <laughs> the whole way. It's like a tiny clown car. And he like when he first got in, he goes, "Let me just back this seat up real quick." And I just go, "Nope, that's as much as you're getting in this." And he was like, "Oh man, I could just see the defeat on his face." Eight hours of this. He's like, "What a shitty name for a car, a fit." I don't <laughs> fit. That's that's the joke. That's the the Japanese making jokes on you. <laughs> Where in Illinois did you go? We were in uh, outside of Decatur. We went to a place in Forsyth, Illinois. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I forget the name of the place, but the dude who owned it, his name was Skip, I think. Or oh. no, no, it was Flash. Oh. I, I knew it was a one-syllable nickname <laughs> name. It Sounds was like the a... Justice League guy that didn't <laughs> yeah. get his own spin-off. Yeah, that's no, he, he got his own restaurant and stuff. <laughs> Uh, but it was a cool place. They had like a buffet and stuff, and the, which doesn't help comedy at all, but it was delicious. That's good. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, good times. And then on a Saturday, we did a place called Da Berg in Warrensburg, nice. Illinois. And uh, and it was packed, and it was great. There was one drunk lady that was stupid, and, and, and none of that matters. But she looked like she was hot like 20 years ago, but oh. still had that attitude of like, I can get drunk and do whatever I want, and oh. people will like me. And I, That's uh, the majority of central Illinois. That's right there. That's are people it. that like, yeah. man, you were super attractive when you were 19. Absolutely. Oh. Like, oh, you never left. Okay, well. <laughs> Enjoy it. That is the worst. Um, that act like that. But yeah, uh, Derek's actually from Decatur. Yeah, that's where I'm from. That's, ah, that's his take in the sights. Did you see the sights? Yeah, we checked out the Red Lobster. It was nice. <laughs> oh, nice. We really did. We were like, we had a good Friday. We deserve a, a treat. It was <laughs> it was good. I mean, as good as a Central Illinois fresh <laughs> seafood restaurant can be. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh goodness! But uh, I saw a post uh, of you on Facebook uh, or or Instagram. Um, that uh, there was somebody who was discussing a joke of yours that you sell T-shirts for, right? Yeah, yeah. it was uh, uh, what's his name, Brian Bre- Callen and, and Brendan uh, Schaub. Brendan Schaub, yeah. whatever their podcast is called. Uh, I, I, I'm doing the opposite to them of what they did to me. They did my <laughs> joke and didn't tell me their name. I'll tell you their names. I'm not telling you the name of their fucking show. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, I worked in Springfield one week, and then Brennan Schaub worked there the next week. And so the manager of the club was texting him just to be funny, I guess, and just texted him, ninjas hate crunchy leaves, because that's what my T-shirts say, right? And so he just, and Brennan Schaub read it and was just like, all right, dude, whatever, you know, and, and he said that on the show. And then Brian Callen was like, that's actually a really funny joke. And he sort of dissected it a little bit. He went on to say, like, it's actually a haiku poem. And I'm like, it's not at all but <laughs> but regardless like i took that clip and then i did a little you know me talking sure. to intro it or whatever and i put it online and and all these people were just like they stole your joke dude and i was like they didn't steal it like they quote if anything the manager guy stole it but i don't even think that happened i think he was just trying to be funny you know yeah. and, and now he's selling t-shirts to say, <laughs> right just hate crunchy lee yeah i mean the club owner owns his own t-shirt company but i don't see any connection <laughs> no he was just trying to be funny to a guy he was working with and, yeah. and that guy just happened to talk about it and it was cool it helped i sold like 10 shirts uh since i posted that no thing. shit so, that's yeah. that's awesome so i don't know good times it is good week times. week yeah oh, i know i think it's a great week Thanks. So, buddy. other than Jack Reacher, do you got any other shows that you would suggest? Jack Ryan. Jack Ryan. Sorry, it's the it's with Jim from The Office. Oh no, I did watch. I finished it already. Don't spoil anything. I'm literally like two really? episodes in. Uh, yeah, like the the first season, or, or are you? Don't. Yes. Okay. Uh-huh. Just don't say anything. I hate when I'm like no spoilers, and people are gonna be like, I'm not spoiling nothing, but just watch one hour and twenty seven minutes <laughs> in. When she walks in, just get ready. And I'm like that. <laughs> <laughs> counts as a spoiler dude like that's a very specific anyway i fucking i am not a fan of like star wars or any of that stuff and yeah whenever they had released one of the newer star wars movies not this last one maybe but the one before it popped up on my facebook memories because i found out what had happened and so i posted it and sam norton 
was like, so fucking God help me. If this is true, I will find you. And, <laughs> and it was true. <laughs> Did he ever write you back? or No. Are you blocked from him now? No, no, not at all. That's great. But I, I fucking that, love doing that. That reminds me of uh, when I was in high school, we all went to the movie theater and we saw Armageddon. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. At like the 7 p.m. movie. And we're all walking out and they have like the velvet rope thing of the line of people waiting to get into like the 10 p.m. And I don't know why I decided to do this, but I was just like, Bruce Willis dies at the end. <laughs> and everybody was just like, what the fuck? Dude? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's yeah, it was kind of funny at the time, I guess. I yeah. used to, I thought of an idea years ago for, like, to do a, a skit back when they had video stores and they were a thing. Is just to be like that guy that someone comes up to rent a movie and they're like, oh, six cents. That's a good one. You know, he was dead the whole time. (laughs) Anytime somebody comes to rent it, just ruin it. Yeah, that could be funny. (laughs) Then they come out of the adults only section. Oh, he came. (laughs) All over. I did that. I ruined uh, Shawshank Redemption for my wife. Really? I ruined it because she goes, what's it about? I was just like, oh, this guy goes to prison for murder that he actually didn't do. In the whole movie, he's actually breaking out of prison, but you don't know about it. <laughs> she, she ends up watching it. She's like, it would have been way better if you wouldn't have told me that. I, But I've seen it a hundred times, and I <laughs> yeah. still like it. I it's, love it. It's a very – I it watched is. it in the last, I don't know, ten days, I would say. It's really? always on. Wow. Really? I mean, I don't watch it every ten days. I just happen to wow. have seen it recently. That, all right, that's good. Um, I don't know, Derek. You want to go? Or you want me to go? I'll go ahead and go. Okay, Mine go wasn't for that. It. Interesting. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I bought uh, that Harry Potter game, and I've been playing that Ooh. like crazy. Okay. okay. What do you Is think? Is it awesome? I'm fucking hooked on it. <clears throat> and I, I like it. I'm trying to like. I'm, usually, when I play strategy games, like some, I'll be like, "All right, what? The, how the fuck do I do this?" Yeah. And I've been trying to avoid it to where I just figure it out on my own. Mm-hmm. And so, because there's a lot of shit that you're just like the fuck do you do here mm-hmm. and uh i i haven't resorted i only resorted once uh, to, to youtube at, to youtube once yeah so I've, i'm probably like 14 hours or 18 hours in and i've only youtubed once so okay that's pretty good actually. there's so much shit to do man so many side quests and so like the first day i was just like running around looking at shit mm-hmm. i'm like oh neat and then i'd run somewhere are else. you harry potter no, no you create your own dudes so are you it's actually hogwarts legacy huh i didn't give me the option not to be so oh, okay uh, uh yeah trust me i wouldn't be running around if i <laughs> <laughs> that would be cool if you could be like a, a fat guy. Yeah, five foot four, three hundred pound guy. <laughs> but you're still just running. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not fucking, losing weight. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I just don't leave the fucking great hall. I'm like, yeah, more food, please. All right. So the food just comes by magic? <laughs> yeah, this <laughs> school is awesome. <laughs> I made s'mores with my wand. Yeah. So I've been playing the shit out of that. Uh, but on Thursday, I did get out of the house, and I went down to Vorshay's and watched comedy. I went and watched Sam Talent. Ooh, was it good? Fuck, man. He's funny, huh? He's incredible. This is the second time I've seen him in outside. Probably Mike Baldwin's probably the best show I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who's that guy? <laughs> <laughs> no. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> but uh, Sam, Sam Talent is fucking incredible. It's, he's probably two of the best shows I've ever seen ever. I've seen him at the Looney Bin once, and now I've seen him at Vorshay's. And it's he's that guy that you can go watch. Like You can go watch him three times that week, and it'll be a different show all week. Really? Yeah. yeah. he's Because he has that much material or because he wings it? Both. Okay. You can't, he's the, it's to where you can't really tell, even as a comic, if he's just fucking fucking off or if he's being serious like right. this is i do this joke like he was aaron naylor with this first three or four minutes or five minutes was making fun of eric and aaron now i don't know if it's just standard lines that right. he has but it sure didn't seem like it huh and yeah steve looks at me and he goes that guy's on a whole nother fucking level <laughs> yeah he goes i lost my ass on this show but i have him come back because and lose my ass again he's that good i'm like yeah he's what live one of the best i've ever seen really nice. yeah. wow he's incredible so if you didn't go you missed out does he have albums and stuff um i know he's got a book called running the light okay that's, that's not what i asked <laughs> well you it books on tape man <laughs> oh okay there yeah i'm like i don't want to read <laughs> comedy i know, I know he's i want to listen to it and i think he has a podcast as well i need to find out the name of it again all right but yeah he's 
he's fucking awesome. Like, is he good enough that if I just look him up on the internet and watch videos of him, I'm going to fully appreciate how good he is? I would think so. Okay. So I don't know where you're at because I know you're a legend in your own mind. I disagree. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, he is fantastic. I've met you one time, and I think you've made me laugh pretty fucking hard. So I would say, yes, you're very good at it. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling all bashful now. All right. Let's move okay, on. What's next? Fine. Uh, did you find the name of the podcast or no? I, I no, stopped looking. No, he gave up. Oh, gave up. Okay. Um, I'll find the name of it real quick. That's fine. I'll interrupt you well, as you're talking. And, we'll, and we obviously had the Super Bowl party that we'll get to here in a little bit. Uh, but the best part about Super Bowl for me is my wife makes a uh, Super Bowl dip, mm. right? And first of all, uh, your wife also makes uh, like a corn dip. Chubby Behemoth. Okay, Chubby Behemoth is the name of the podcast. Yeah. Okay. Noted. Okay. Um, but your wife also makes some corn dip that's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. But the Super Bowl dip is jalapeno popper dip. Okay. That you eat with Ritz crackers. Mm. So if I don't care who's playing in the Super Bowl, I just get that dip once a year and it's fucking bomb and i love that dip more than anything but else she world. won't she refuses to make it for you yeah. any other time it's so much of a pain in the ass to make that she will only make it for super bowl because okay everybody else brings something to the super bowl party kind of thing yeah so but yeah it's fucking phenomenal so i, I love that um but i also did uh, i went golfing i got to go golfing we had a pretty decent stretch of weather um, so I went golfing with uh, the GM of the Wichita Wind Surge, my buddy Bob. Nice. And I have an announcement for other listeners of Laughing on the Sidelines. Oh, and shit. I'm fucking pumped for this. I, uh, I would like to say I beat him over the head with it, but it was a lot easier than I thought. But I actually got him to approve. As long as I do something that I'm going to do, um, he is going to allow Jeremy Joseph to throw out the first pitch of a regular season game at Riverfront Stadium. And then Derek is going to introduce Jeremy Joseph as the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year Award winner. And it, he, he said, if you do this, I don't care what you introduce him as. I don't care. And I'm like, I have this, and I'm telling everybody, so you can't go back on it. And he's like, no, just just do this. And I'm like, it's done. What's the do this? He's got to eat his ass. No. <laughs> Did we get to that? <laughs> That's what it is. There were some bushes yeah. on uh, the ninth hole that he I had, had to go to, behind. He had to take on the 19th <laughs> hole. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he had to do. No, I, I, he's trying to sell out uh, opening day. Uh, and so if you are in the Wichita area, make sure you go to uh, opening day for the wind surge. But I'm going to get a group of 25 of, of my closest friends and go to the game. You uh, think you have 25 friends? <laughs> <laughs> 25 acquaintances, you, dickhead. You're going to get that make-a-wish kid for his... <laughs> yeah. Hey, here's your early birthday present That's for right. next year. You can come watch a minor league game with right. me. Uh, well, I'm, Mike, you can go. You can come, right? It's baseball. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's other stuff. <laughs> and when is it? It's uh, April 11th, I believe, is opening day. Isn't that right, Derek? I don't know. Okay. I'm, you work there. I know, but I'm not, I don't look at when I have to work. I mean, but, like, not like two months out. Like, I can't wait to go to work on the 11th. Yeah, but that's not the game that Jeremy's going to throw out the first pitch. Okay. that It's just I have to get twenty a group of 25 people to go to the game that actually pay for the tickets that actually go. We, we, they want to sell it the place out. Yeah. It's April it, 11th. Where's April the 11th. stadium? Downtown Wichita, Kansas, man. I've never heard you, of this. You ever get off a of Kellogg? Uh, not often. No, I live. Okay. I live in a box oh. right on Kellogg. <laughs> it's at like what is it? Kellogg and in Seneca and Seneca. Yeah, yeah. All right, Kellogg and MacArthur. I think. Actually. See, so, I'm, I'm immediately skeptical because I'm like, who is this team? What is the league? But oh, yeah. really, none of that matters no. as when you're watching the sport. Yeah. In, like in, I, I used to. I, I'm from Kansas City, from the area, yeah. and we didn't have a hockey team or anything. We had like a whatever it's called, like the a Blades. triple A hockey team. Yeah, yeah, we had the Blades, and but they were the guys that weren't making millions of dollars or, right. or even tens of thousands or whatever. They, like were, they were trying to prove themselves to get bumped up or whatever, and they would get pissed off all the time, and there would be fights like... 
multiple times a game. Yep. But also nobody ever really went, so I would just be the ninth caller or whatever on the radio and win tickets all the time. I did the same <laughs> thing with a circus. I went to more hockey. <laughs> I went to more hockey games and more circus <laughs> events when I was in like junior high and high school. Did you, did you like the circus there, buddy? I mean, not that much, but I, I liked <laughs> listening. I listened to the radio all the time and I liked trying to be the whatever caller. Oh, God. That's and I, I even had at one point I had my own phone line. This is before cell phones or anything. We had like our house phone, and then I got a second line, and I had the cordless phone in this hand, and I would just hit redial on both phones. Oh and I God. I remember one time I called, and the guy was like, because uh, you had to be like the eleventh caller, and the guy was like, "You're the tenth caller," and then I'm on this phone too, and it's ringing, and then he picked it up and he goes, "You're the tenth caller," and I was like, "No bullshit! Like I, <laughs> you just told me I was the tenth. I am the." 11th and the guy was like all right you win i guess i don't know what he was trying to pull <laughs> it's just, i don't know maybe the same number caller id i have no idea I, I like to think that mike went to the circus for the same reason you went to the hockey games the, for, the, for the fights <laughs> <laughs> no i get in the clown car first i called shotgun I'm bubbles not, i'm not sitting fucking weird again for the next two hours i'm not yeah. sitting next to steve again yeah it, it made you buy that fit right Eventually, yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't know that that was what was going to happen, but yes, that's shit. I like to think the Kansas City Blades is an all-black hockey team that only plays during the daytime. <laughs> oh, really? Wow, okay. That's, yeah, that was fair. a Wesley Snipes yeah. reference. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm upset that he's not going to be in the new Blade. What? I mean, he's not the main guy, I don't think. They cast some other guy. If he is in it, it's going to be like... Rocky was in Creed or whatever. Like, I've been training you for a long time. <laughs> and it's like, we didn't see you train or nothing. It's fucking like Nick Cannon. Yes. <laughs> right. Or Michael B. Jordan. Might as well get him going from Creed over to Blade. That might as well, you know? Yeah. Um, and I think, uh, but yeah, whenever whenever we finally getting back to the Jeremy Joseph first pitch thing. So once we know the date of the of the day of the game that he's going to throw out the first pitch, we will try to give as much of a heads up as possible. So that way, a lot of Jeremy Joseph fans can actually come and maybe meet Jeremy Joseph at the baseball game. So it'll be kind of fun to do that. Well, um, I'm I'm definitely going to the opener on April 11th. Absolutely, it me and everybody. Yep, we're gonna pack that place out. I have no friends, and I need to sell 25 tickets. And you bring your friends. Let me sell them to them. Okay. Okay. Deal. Okay, uh, but uh, before we get on to the sports, uh, we got to give a shout out to our sponsor, which is Manscaped.com. Uh, I don't know about you uh, down there, Mr. Mike, but uh, they have something called the Lawnmower 4.0 to help keep your balls groomed. But it looks like you've been using it on your head. Uh, yeah, no, I straight razor this shit. Oh, that's the plow. I I use like a it's like a uh, crocodile Dundee knife. Oh yeah, and I just just one swoop, one swoop. That's you, how good I am. That's talented. I shake my head as the blades going by. Absolutely, <laughs> you should try to do that with your nuts. You gotta have a steady <laughs> hand. Just swing them around. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like sharpening a knife with a leather belt strap. <laughs> <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've ever I said. Know. Usually I just laugh politely, but that genuinely made me laugh. <laughs> you did get too high. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm laughing at shit. What's wrong with me? Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. But no, manscaped.com has a lawnmower 4.0 with the adjustable LED light so you can shave your nuts in the dark. What's the lawnmower 1.0? I actually, feel like it's very disappointing. It is. It's pole start. That's it's one of those things. It's like the got. iPhone three of <laughs> yeah. nut shavers. It's yeah. just scissors. <laughs> That's all it is. You're like, yeah, no, it'll do it. It just doesn't do it quickly or good. <laughs> it, it just takes a while. And it's not safe. Uh, shit. But yes, if you have ever tried to use a beard trimmer to shave your nuts, you know that it, it can be very fucking dangerous. Mm -hmm. So that's why there is the lawnmower 4.0 to help you shave your cock, balls, and uh, butthole. That's very important, too. I know a lot of hairy, hairy people out there. Got to make sure you mind the butthole, too. Yeah, that way, especially if you're listening, Bob, that way Jeremy can throw <laughs> out that first pitch. <laughs> if you could just make sure you shave that butthole. <laughs> I mean, really, when you think about it, imagine like getting peanut butter stuck in your hair <laughs> versus me getting a little bit of peanut butter on my head. Yeah. Like, which is easier to clean up with paper? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Or gum. 
Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, you got to use the peanut butter to get the gum out. <laughs> right. That way, I'm sure that that's, that's me, again, assuming that everything happens at some point. Yes. And I know that a girl has been licking a dude's butthole before <laughs> and her gum came out and got stuck <laughs> in his butt hair. <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. a different kind of dingleberry. And he's like, you're wrong order. You're supposed to eat the gum after. <laughs> oh, but do check manscaped.com out. <laughs> They've got tons of other products, too, like the ball deodorant and ball toner. Uh, JP likes to wear the ball toner on his cheekbones. Uh, but, um, yeah, go check all of the products at manscaped.com. Use the promo code SIDELINES. Get 20% off of your order and free shipping. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that <laughs> we're reading these commercials word for word. I got, the, I got that image in my head now of, like, <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> chew, chew it out. Just get it. <laughs> Just slowly slide it out with your teeth. <laughs> We're sticking to Pop Rocks next time. <laughs> oh, God. No, I'll tell you what, how they fix it. They get the <sighs> lawnmower 4.0 4. 0 from right. Manscaper. That's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a good thing we're done with that. Now we get to move on to fun stuff. Uh, or not fun stuff, I guess you would call. Obviously, the biggest news um, of the weekend is that uh, a lot of uh, Philadelphia Eagles or national or Super Bowl champion T-shirts are very are on their way to Africa right now. That's so. why I was doing this. I know. For that. Kansas City Chiefs win the Super Bowl. Congratulations, yep. you fucks. I mean, I don't care that much, but like, I I care more than I would if it was like a you know the yeah. Bengals and the Eagles, ba- Bengals and the like the Rams last year. So yeah, any it, of that shit, I, I guess. Uh, so it's like my team. Yeah, technically, as, as much as one. You could can be a Broncos be. fan. It's about the same direction the other I'm way. I'm from Kansas City, though. Oh, that's true. Born okay. and raised. I lived my first. <laughs> 30 years or something in yeah. Kansas City. So it was exciting. We sucked my whole life, and I don't care if we need a teensy bit of help from the refs here and there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, that was pretty much the – I guess there was the all-female flyover. Did you see that shit? That was yeah, brave. That, I'm, that was brave. <laughs> Very brave. I was shocked that nobody wrecked. I was uh, yeah. expecting yeah. – They tried that one other time on September 11, 2001. <laughs> oh, my and God. They blamed it on these poor Arab guys. <laughs> it's just easy thing to do, you know. Mm-hmm. That's so fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, see, I, I I know that I know that we don't have full equality yet because we're still saying, "Hey, it's ladies doing it." Yeah. <laughs> like, isn't that special? And it's like, no, we'll we will have equality when it's just like, all right, the four planes are flying over <laughs> the same way that it's always been. I agree with you, I, sir. I, and 100%. I would bet I would bet money that they have had women pilots doing the flyovers at some point sure. in the past. Yeah. But they just didn't, they, I don't know. It'll yeah. always be, they'll be like, oh, we had four Ugandan pilots doing their first, like, <laughs> right. until we like, get through right, everything. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. I'm um, never watching football again. I know. We'll get to that here in a second. But I, one of the things I thought was actually really funny was uh, there was a Comcast outage in a, a, like an area of Philadelphia for like an hour of the Super Bowl. Oh, God. Fuck. Oh, Hopefully how many? it was the last hour. No, it was actually the before. It was maybe actually like 30 minutes, but there were people in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, that are probably diehard Eagles fans that could not watch the first like 15 to 30 minutes of the game. Turns out it was just a commercial. Oh, that's yeah, all it was. Exactly. It was it's a commercial yeah. that just shows fuzz for <laughs> yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah, this cost us five hundred billion dollars, <laughs> but we totally got you guys. Yeah, uh, but yeah, apparently there were uh, a few thousand customers in Philadelphia that were affected. So it's like, yikes! Yeah, uh, canceled. That you're can uh, you're not even going to give them another opportunity after that. Well, but I mean, what what options do the people have? I'm sure it's part of their cable contract Maybe. that, like, hey, shit can go out at any time. You can't oh, blame us. And oh. they're like, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> $49.99 a month, right? Yeah, All right, right. I'll sign. 
Uh, That's what I, I assume. I don't know. Yeah. But or maybe it was like uh, an insider thing where all of the local bar owners were like, dude, nobody's fucking showing up. Yeah. And then they called their buddy at the Comcast place and they're like, just <laughs> flick it off. Turn it off for a little while. And then all of a sudden, all of these people come flooding into the bar. Yep. Do you have cable? <laughs> I don't know why I'm it, bars still have their cable in yeah. this scenario. That yeah. Of course, they wouldn't well, if I they're know. in the same area. I so I'm know. just a stupid, fat idiot. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Welcome uh, to the club. Man. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you don't get a card or anything. I yeah, no. <laughs> I would eat it. <laughs> right. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to bring up, because I, I have, I guess, a conf- conflicting idea, but what did you guys think of the halftime show with, with Rihanna? I'm, I, I could go either way. I can shit on it or I can uh, praise her. I thought it was under par. I just didn't, I wasn't like everybody's freaking the fuck out and saying, that was an amazing performance by Rihanna. She's pregnant in this thing and she's doing singing like she's supposed to. Right. I, I'm not shocked. The dancers were fucking awesome. They were cool. I yeah, was, it was kind of cool. I was more amazed that she was able to stay on her feet that high. And my knees would have buckled so fucking fast. Oh, shit. Did I'd you, have been terrified. Up you, that high on oh, the thing. Oh, yeah. My fucking legs would have been shaking. I wanted somebody to jump from one to the other. Like, <laughs> like Mario Brothers? Uh-huh, yes, exactly. Did you guys not see the guy? There was a dancer that was up on one of the tall, tall ones when it was up in the air. Almost fell the fuck off. Ah. And you kind of saw whenever he kind of stumbled and got kind of close that that was some sketch osha should have been fucking somewhere but they weren't they were held on by cables really thin cables in four corners of those things that they were on Uh right and you could see that the guy that's dancing he kind of gets caught because of the stupid outfits that they were wearing he kind of stepped on it and slipped and got too close to the corner and you saw that thing go like that wow and he almost did and it was just like Oh, shit. It, I didn't see that at all. But no, I bet I'm, in post-edit or whatever, yes. you're going to add the clip into this. Mm-hmm. And then we I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm not giving you work. Okay. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, what you need, and, then, and then you need text overlaying it with the guy going, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I would that. imagine they had like those, you know, like fluffy mattresses underneath, underneath them. them? Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I mean, don't either, but that's just what I imagine. They've got to be hooked to a harness or something. They were All of those people? Yeah, no. No. But I was just, I was kind of shocked because I was like, I don't see anything holding him to this floating contraption at all. That would have been a cool. That would have been the bet. That'd been better than the nipple, nipple slip by Justin Timberlake right. and, and Mariah Man Carey. Man falls to death. Was it Mariah Carey? No, it wasn't Mariah Carey. Who was Jan- it? No, Jan Jackson. Jackson. That's who it was. And oh, it, she fuck. wasn't even, she had like a pasty on or something yeah, also, right? I think so. It was a very disappointing nip Nipple. slip. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I had never seen one before that, though. So mm-hmm. I was just like, is that what they look like? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, what did, what did you think, Derek? Did you even watch it? The game? No, no, the no, no. The halftime show. show. I watched a little bit of it. I, I found out she was pregnant immediately. Yep. And then I thought that she, they were fucking crazy for being that high up in the air. And mm-hmm. then I went on to doing whatever I was doing. Okay, that makes so sense. I wasn't too interested in it one way or the other, but yeah. And well. maybe maybe it's because I'm not a, like a Rihanna fan, I guess. Uh, but what cracks me up is that she wants, like her nickname, she wants to be called is Riri. Yeah, that I used to call my buddy's little brother that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he did not like it. <laughs> I still call my buddy's brother that. So no, I, I don't know anyone who whom I call that. <laughs> well, when I was a kid, I did all the time. Riri, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's a slur. Uh, <laughs> I remember yeah. that for, for retarded kids. Yep, or that's or right. whatever. No. Oh yeah, no, we just full on s- said the full word every time. <laughs> <laughs> or you use the last syllable for yeah, short. Yeah, tard. I, I yeah. do that all the time. Mm-hmm. Or we would add an O to the end. <laughs> Retard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Retard. What if you just did that with all slurs now? <laughs> <laughs> Some of them sound like cereals. <laughs> hey, make sure you eat your retardos for breakfast so you can grow up big and strong. I love Lucy. It's Ricky Retardo. That's all I can think of. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, it's like to see some kid like a special like Wheaties, but it's a kid special Olympian on the front of the box. <laughs> <laughs> Retardo. <laughs> the breakfast of <laughs> sort of champions. <laughs> 
There's a medal in every box. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> God. Okay. All right. Now we get to talk about the actual game <laughs> if we want to. But, yes, Rihanna, I thought she did good. <laughs> I thought because I immediately saw she was pregnant and I was like, oh, well, number one, that's cool that they didn't announce that she's pregnant before this. Like yeah. her performance is her being like, and I'm pregnant and I'm still going to sing. I don't give a fuck. But it's, then I was like, but it's singing. Yeah. It's not like she's doing backflips and shit. Right. And like I'm pregnant. I shouldn't even be doing this. Yeah. It's like, no, you can still sing and be <laughs> pregnant and like dance on a chair or whatever she was doing. Right. But I did, I did see the choreography that she had where it looked like she cracked one off and was trying to like wave it away. <laughs> like she's got her hand on her ass and then she's like this and then like that. I did see that. Yeah, I, I, I know what you did. I there. feel like I saw her touch the front yeah. and then do something. Like sniff. I don't yeah. know if she sniffed or if she tasted, but she did something. <laughs> You know, and you can watch that because now that clip is playing right here. <laughs> <laughs> I love movie magic. Oh <laughs> uh, shit! But no, the other thing I noticed was that she was not. She was singing, but she was not trying to hit the really, really high notes. Yeah, because she was scared that her baby was going to blow out her puss. Well, maybe right that. Yeah, <laughs> they had. There was a lot of lip singing going oh, on. Oh, for sure. But at the same time, you could tell when she actually piped up and was like, yeah. "Or oh, I think that you could." Sure. But I feel like it was mostly like the background vocals and stuff that were playing on the recording. Oh, for sure, yeah. She was kind of doing some singing. Ah, she did fine. I would think it would have to be lip syncing being that high up with not yes. apparently no harness. It'd just be you just read her lips. It's like, oh, fuck, 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 <laughs> Yep. Why did I do this shit? Yeah. I, yeah, you couldn't get me doing Ella, that shit. Ella, <laughs> it was, Ella. Ella, fuck! It, it was a, a first, though, right? Yeah. Having that shit and oh, people yeah. way up in the... So how how do they top it? What are they what are they doing next year? How do they top it? The dude falls. That's what happens. He just falls off that fucking thing. When Splat. she started singing, uh, I forget what song it was, but I was like, dude, if Kanye comes out right now, that's gonna be so fucking crazy. Because <laughs> it was a Kanye song. I mean, a lot of them were, yeah. but one specifically that I forget what it is now, but it's playing. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, now would be the perfect time. And like, and I started extra respecting Rihanna a little bit. Cause I was like, no way. Everybody in the world fucking hates him. Like if she was like, I'm not doing it unless Kanye can come out and sing his verse. I think that would have been the biggest news of the Super Bowl. Oh, for sure. Kanye's back. Oh, look, he's got a swastika sign. Wearing his new LA gear brand shoes. Yeah. <laughs> LA gear Yeezys. That's right. Uh, but yeah, they so light up. So let's actually get to the game. Uh, obviously, Derek and myself were not going for the Kansas City Chiefs. We were both rooting for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, first half was great. I uh, thought it was uh, a pretty consistent game. It was a good game to watch. Just a lot of back and forth. There wasn't a whole lot of great defense. Uh, so I liked it. And then I'm going to let Derek kind of wind it up. Oh, you, you want me to talk about the second half? Yep. Uh, well, I noticed, and, and this would have affected both teams, but uh, the field conditions were absolute shit, and nobody could stand, and they were sliding everywhere. So thank God nobody got fucking severely Hurt, injured right. on that. But, yeah, I – I wish that if, if there would have been a prop bet that I could have bet on that there was going to be a flag within the last two minutes that was going to decide the game, then I would have fucking have 30 yeah. to 1 to my money, yep. or at least. Yep. So I, you, I knew it was going to happen. They've gotten the bailout flag in the AFC Championship. They got the bailout flag in the Super Bowl. And it's to the point where I am not going to watch football anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, I am done. So you think it's fake, a hundred percent? I not fake. I think that that you make sure that this is the outcome. I don't care how it happens, but you, this is what it needs to be. It's been proven. It's been able to be done. Look at Tim Donahue in the NBA. He was able to shave points and kind of help fix games. Right. I think the NFL's like, hey, we need Mahomes to win. Brady's he Brady just retired. We need the new face of the NFL. This is what we want. And this is who we want it to be. Whatever you got to do, he can't lose to. He can't go one and two in the Super Bowl, and he, be the greatest and, ever. Yeah. So we need to have him win this game. So then that flag, that play happened, and then they're like, "Fuck." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, like it was over, and then here comes the flag, and I'm like, "Really? Not not in real time? Just ah, shit, he didn't catch it. <laughs> it, it there it goes." 
it, it was bad. I, it, it was very bad. It's very, very disheartening. And it's so frustrating because I, I don't, I don't think it's fake. I don't, I really genuinely don't think it's fake. I think it's real. I think it's a bad fucking call. Here's the problem. The last two Super Bowls have ended the exact same way on a questionable holding uh, call um, that ends up deciding the game. And that's very, very unfortunate. And when you look at the storylines for both years, it's like Matthew Stafford needs to get one Super Bowl after he goes from the Lions to the Rams. Matthew Stafford gets a Super Bowl. Tom Brady needs to get one after he leaves after he the leaves Patriots. Patriots goes Bucks to Tampa. Gets the Super Bowl. There you go. And then it's just it's just like, oh, let's follow this storyline. So we I'm, need to have two brothers in the Super Bowl and Andy Reid against his own whole former, former team. team. And, but I do honestly think that those two <clears throat> teams were the best teams in the NFL consistently all season long. I do think that um, the Eagles – actually are a better football team. Give them the all chance around. to go down and win the game. And that's kind of my thing. I'm not saying, I mean, it's really tough when you get down to like the final couple of minutes. It's the same as like when you're watching college basketball and the game's tied and a guy goes down the middle of the lane, tries to go up for a layup that's almost wide open and he gets contacted. Most of those re- uh, referees or officials are going to put their fucking whistle in their pocket. They're not going to blow that last second foul and get the guy to the free throw line, him shoot a free throw, make a free throw, and that's the game. You don't want to see the game ended like that. And I think it's kind of an unwritten rule that football should be like that too. Was it a hold? God damn, it was questionable. I, I know the, even the kid said, yes, I grabbed and pulled on his jersey. Watch the whole fucking game. Everybody's doing it to uh-huh. that extent. It's, but it's, it's the fact that that one penalty legitimately costed him the game. That's it was such a defining I mean, moment. Ma- if, maybe it did. There were two minutes left at that point, right? Yeah. So I mean, anything could have happened. Yeah. If, if that kid speaks out and says that I didn't, I that was not a hold. That kid is fined out the fucking ass. ass. Yep. He is. And yeah, then all of a sudden, fucking people start dropping. I'm not watching it any. Uh, doing what I'm doing. I'm not watching anymore. And yeah, fuck this. And that's where I'm at. And it's like I'm gonna stick with baseball because at least. Baseball, the only thing that they have that they fuck up now that they can is balls and strikes. And that's almost and on its that's way out. almost on its way out to where they're doing – they're in AAA, they're doing the electronic strike zone this year. And it works NFL great. NFL doesn't care. Goodell was like, I think the officiating's great this year. And it's like, what and fucking – what are you talking about? It's so inconsistent. Yeah, I, I'm done watching the fucking officials decide games. I so agree. So I'm, I'm – finished with the nfl so i'm not i'm not finished with them i'm not finished with the nfl i still love to watch football it's my favorite thing um and i mean fantasy football is my favorite fucking thing and you're you're even talking about you're not even gonna do i'm not doing it anymore i'm done that's crazy that's nuts (laughs) i understand but uh but yeah i i officially don't think it's rigged i just think that you know officials need to be better at their jobs. That they need to be robots or that. Yeah. But that'd be do a that, lot more back. Fix it and I'll come back. But if you're going to do that, I mean, if you're just going to sit there and let that continuously happen, yep. there's no, I, I, I feel like they have who, the Goodell or whoever has who they want to win. And you ref it that way. And no matter what it takes, that's, that's yeah. how it's going to have to be. No. I think like, sorry, I'm not, you're, you're not good. boring me. Or no, anything. you're good. <laughs> 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 He's boring me. Right. Yeah. Like, whoever plays each other and whoever wins, you can pick a few things that's like uh, the story Mm -hmm. or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, the idea that, like, they needed the Mahomes story as opposed to the Eagles quarterback, if he had won won the Super Bowl, he'd be a fucking story, too, you know? Yes, he would. So, I mean, it's not like... I don't know. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say it. I don't even watch football that much. Mm-hmm. Like, I just like th- that the Chiefs won the Super Bowl because that's my hometown team or whatever. Yeah. But I'm yeah. not, like, watching the draft and, like, following a pick who they picked up and that kind of shit. Yeah. I couldn't even name more than three or four players, m- two off the top of my head. Kelsey and Mahomes. Of course, yes. <laughs> Those are the two. And the rest, I'm like, I don't know, something with a weird – I think there's a guy named Gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's on there. <laughs> yep. 
There's a, the only thing that sucks about not watching the NFL anymore is what if I tell somebody I'm not watching the NFL and they're going to be like, fuck yeah, fuck Kaepernick. And I'm like, that's actually not the reason. That. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the total opposite. It just, but it also sucks because you guys are actually, your team, your home team, the Chicago Bears are in a very good position right now to get better and improve. Yeah. You have a franchise quarterback. You don't have a bad roster to go at. You got rid of the two coaches or the, the owner and the coach that you hate yeah like a lot of them just got a fucking super bowl ring yeah exactly and so now you're sitting there and you're like nope i'm done i'm yeah. just fucking done I'm and done. i i uh I, I hope that you change your mind in the next couple of months no nah, so i don't think it's gonna happen i bet it probably will uh but when now i commit i'm stubborn i know I you are i know you are uh but the best part about the super bowl is countdown to baseball yeah, soon football's over. Soon Forever as, for me. Soon as football's over, now it's the countdown to the most difficult sport in the world, and that is baseball. Is it really the most difficult? It's not even close. If you can fail out of seven out of ten times and make the Hall of Fame, be actually be, <laughs> be considered as one of the best players of all time. If if you do that, if you fail seven out of ten times at the plate, uh huh, you are officially going to the Hall of Fame and, and considered one of the best hitters of all time. So you're, st- but you're saying it's hard. It's it's the most difficult sport in the world. I mean, I don't. You're just hitting the thing with a stick. I don't see how <laughs> I didn't fucking hit a thing with a stick. That thing is going like ninety plus miles an hour, and it moves. It's it's so fucking hard. Yeah, but how fast is that the bat going? Uh, how strong are you, and how quick is your <laughs> yeah. hands? A lot. <laughs> <That's> t- <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah no um, i liked uh if we're allowed to discuss super bowl commercials oh uh, yeah i liked the uh square space one that was probably my favorite i don't even, i don't even remember that one it had adam driver in it do you know who that guy is uh mm-hmm. yeah john oliver wants to fuck him i mean i <laughs> i don't not want to <laughs> No, I don't want to. But uh, the Squarespace commercial was uh, Squarespace is a website that makes websites. So theoretically, it could make itself. <laughs> and then there are like all these Adam drivers are all around. I don't know. I thought it was like Rick and Morty weirdness. Okay. Some sort of funny. It made me chuckle. Everything else, I was like, this is fucking dumb. Oh, that TV streaming service one was actually kind of funny. Cause Tubi. Tubi, yeah. With the rabbit holes. Yeah, it just uh, pissed everybody off. All the weird-looking rabbits. It, oh, no, you're no, talking no, about no, when the, the thing popped the, up. Yeah, the thing that, popped up, and it that pranked was later. everybody. But earlier, they did the rabbit hole commercial. Oh, no. That was a Tubi thing, too, where it was like, fall into a new rabbit hole or oh, something wow. like that. And they had the creepy rabbits that were like <laughs> picking people up and just throwing them in the holes. <laughs> I was like, holy shit, what is this? And then I was like, oh, rabbit hole. Ooh. Ooh yeah. All right. What are they? But yeah, the thing where it popped up like you were using your Netflix subscription or yep. something. Yep. And then it selected like Runaway Bride or something <laughs> or Made in Manhattan. Yes. It was one of those classics. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that J-Lo movie. Oh, but God. I know that like somebody got f- punched, punched in, in the, the face, face. literally, <laughs> like because I'm sure five minutes earlier they were like, I don't even want to watch the Super Bowl. Yeah, can't we watch something else? Like, there's got to be a movie or something. Yeah, the there's guy's like, like, just give me a few more minutes. Yeah, it's like, and then that pops up, and he's like, what the fuck? I said no. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's Derek next year. That's basically <laughs> I, what it was. I won't be watching it uh-huh. next year. Yeah. Uh, You'll be watching Tubi. Yeah. That's right. I'm going to be watching <laughs> Runaway Bride. There you go. <laughs> Such a classic. Um, I think the only other thing that I have of note here, obviously, I, I saw that Devin Hester didn't make the Hall of Fame. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. Without, I don't care about football anymore. I don't care so. about any of it. I don't even like the own Bears anymore. I'm done. Dude, whatever. Uh, but but other, no, he did not make the Hall of Fame. That's bullshit. The, vid- the human video game. Isn't that what they called him? No. Oh, I thought that's what they did call him. No, I don't think he really ever had much of a nickname that uh, I can remember. Okay, well, fine. They tried to make him a wide receiver, and he was not good at it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds about right. I don't even know who you're talking about. That's all right. Yeah. Next subject. That's right, because now we get to move on to the fun stuff, the actual fun time where we get to you know try to make jokes. Uh, but uh, we can start off with overrated or underrated again. Guys, if you have any suggestions for these, you can send them to us at Laughing on the Sidelines on our Instagram. Also, do follow us on Instagram if you do not already do that because TikTok may be going away before too long. So, yeah. Uh, so, we're going to do overrated or underrated. And the first one is overrated or underrated CTE. 
That's very underrated. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like people think, I mean, it, it kind of takes care of itself. It does. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> what does it stand for? Uh, no. it, it's basically you are a walking concussion with brain damage. And, and then you kill yourself. Then you kill yourself. So yeah. it's the concussion thing yeah. from football yeah. and, and boxing head and, banging. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you do, have they done research on that? Do like metal fans <laughs> get CTE at the same rates that football players do? I don't like, know. Fucking, that's a great study they can't really do it like the only way that they can check to see if you have it is after you already blew your head off like after you're dead yeah, that's why what's his name shot himself in the heart yes right? yes yeah. um a god Javon belcher not it no not him he it was the other the charger guy the guy uh, that played, junior say yes junior say he shot himself in the chest so he his brain could be analyzed and Where's then it? they were like all right let's fucking get rid of this <laughs> we don't want anybody looking at this brain exactly uh, but no, it's fu- it's way underrated, man. Uh, I think I think that that probably has something to do with Chris Benoit as well. Uh, I think obviously steroids had something to do with it, but I think Chris Benoit because he had a shitload of head head trauma. Um, maybe his wife was just a bitch. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> maybe he's like. I'm fucking tired of it. <laughs> and she's like, like, you're crazy because football. And he's like, I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> and I don't play football. <laughs> I'm a professional wrestler. Right. Or whatever the yeah. case. You you know. His kid was probably a fucking brat, too. So, oh, yeah. poor little buddy. <laughs> yeah. Um, but no, it's way underrated. And, and my evidence is Antonio Brown. That dude is a fucking walking CTE case. And eventually, he's going to kill himself. It's just it's a matter of time. So how about you, Mike? I just don't. I don't understand how we're surprised by this. It's I know. Like, all right, for the next fifteen years, you're going to run full speed at other people, and then he's like, "My head hurts," and we're like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense." <laughs> I, I mean, it makes perfect sense. You know, yeah. it's like a guy who fucking holds a chainsaw every day for thirty years, and he's like, "God, my hands hurt." Yeah, <laughs> like it's the same. It is to be expected. I, like, I can't believe Muhammad Ali ended up ended up with Park. Parkinson's no disease. shit. Like, really? I mean, got I, punched in the head his whole life. Yeah. But I, so do football players end up with Parkinson's a lot? Uh, it's not uncommon. It's not. It's it's not like as regular as CTE. You can get a severe case of CTE very very. I mean, they've tested people that didn't really get hit in the head all that much, but they right. ended up having it. Well, yeah. If you have Parkinson's, as a football player, you're not going to be a football player very long. Exactly. You're gonna fumble. Yeah. Right? You're gonna fumble. I know. They're like, hold on to the fucking ball, man. <laughs> <laughs> but you may be in the new Back to the Future movie when it oh, comes out. So shit. I feel like I I got a uh, I sustained a head injury when I was like six. Mm. I I put my dad's cowboy boots on and I was like <laughs> running through our gravel driveway and uh-huh. just fucking home alone. <laughs> Do you know what that means? Oh, like yeah, just whole body like <laughs> parallel to the ground and then landed on the back of my head. <laughs> oh, shit. Had to get stitches and stuff. And oh god. So anytime anything negative happens in my life, I'm like it's probably because I fucking cracked my hood <laughs> open when I was six. I got brain damage. Yeah. Dude, I did that as an adult that fall. And really? That sucked. Oh god. I was I was bartending and I had to uh, I was going to put get like something out of or put put these things in the dish room and I, the shoes I had were supposed to be non-skid, but they didn't work very well. Mm. And I turned the corner onto the wet floor and fucking full speed. And my feet kicked up over my fucking head oh, God. <laughs> and the shit goes flying out of my hands. And I was like 36, 37. Everyone's like, sir, are you okay? <laughs> Nobody saw it. Oh, nice. So that's like the nice part. But at the same time I laid there for like three or four minutes, like, ah, like Peter Griffin. Uh huh. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was the fucking worst. One time I was uh, drunk and ended up, there were several girls. I ended up alone with one of them, and we were walking down this stair area, and it had one of those rails in the middle. And in my drunk, stupid mind, I was like, I'm going to slide down this whole thing, <laughs> totally show off in front of this broad. And I, like, hopped up on the rail and, like, slid, and, like, halfway down, I started <laughs> like, falling back. And I just ended up, like 
home aloneing again, basically. <laughs> she like ran down the stairs and d- was so concerned, and I was just drunk. And she's like, "Are you okay?" And God, it was embarrassing. <laughs> I think about that like three times a month, and I hate myself every time it pops in my head. Oh, that's great. Okay. I totally <laughs> fooled you. You thought I was hurt. You're so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't pick me up yet. Oh, it still hurts. Give me a minute. <laughs> That's a prop fall. Yeah. Uh, all right. Next one. Overrated or underrated? Epstein's Island. <laughs> underrated. <laughs> I mean, just the fact that it exists and not not everybody knows all the details about it. The people, deets. people are like, uh, oh, who's the guy right now that's dating like a t- 20 year old or whatever? Uh, uh, Pete Davidson. <laughs> <laughs> He's not the famous one that I was thinking of. There's somebody who's like notoriously oh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Oh, people yeah. are like, that's disgusting. Like he should be in jail. And I'm like, you don't know anything about Epstein's Island, do you? Because <laughs> these, these were not 19 year olds there. They were like fucking... Like when you think of in history or whatever the idea of sacrificing a virgin, mm-hmm. like the, and it's a thing that happens because it's been around for ten thousand years, right? And all these old texts and shit, like you imagine in your head, like a beautiful twenty-two year old or whatever that's like never been with anyone before, but that's not what they mean when they say sacrifice a virgin, and you don't even need to think that hard to it's, imagine yeah. the <laughs> kind of shit, you know? Like, yes. all right, come on, sweetie, we're gonna go get sacrificed (laughs) like they do some fucking terrible shit and i think more people need to know about it so we don't let it keep happening we need to start chopping dicks off (laughs) i agree Uh, with the (laughs) 1.0 with with the lawnmower with the pull start motherfucker (laughs) uh but no i I agree i think it's underrated and the main reason why i actually put picked this one is because they are apparently getting ready to release the final documents which have the all of the other names it's gonna be it's gonna be bullshit or or redacted. it's it'll all be redacted, redacted or dude, something yeah. like that but if it does pay attention because then yes we will start cut, cutting some dicks off Let's so say, sure german <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> scooter mcfuckstick is right at the top of that list how about you derek uh i'm gonna go underrated as well wow um it's his own island, man. Yeah. Uh, before any of this started, like when it all came out, and I just kept hearing Epstein Island, and I, I thought it was a new reality show. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, is he going to find love on Epstein Island? Oh, gosh. <laughs> like, I didn't know. Christ. I had no idea. <laughs> and then I looked up, I was like, oh, that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah, that's a God. fucked up island. Yeah. That's yes. Like, that's like, but, that's worse than Dr. Moreau's island. But what channel's it on? <laughs> yeah. I'll give it one episode. <laughs> It's going to be on MTV, My too. My God, yeah. these chicks look young. <laughs> what is this show about exactly? <laughs> I just want to go home. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Please, please like me. That's fucking great. Uh, all right, let's move on to the next yeah, one. Yeah, you get a rose and you get to go home. Before we get canceled. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it works. <laughs> That's it's like, awesome. damn, I wanted to go home this time. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Samurai swords. Well, if they are signed by Randy Jackson, they're very <laughs> underrated. That's true. You're not gonna not see you're not gonna see Randy Jackson and not oh, get his autograph. Yeah, I know. So I'm gonna go underrated on those. Uh I <sighs> I'm going to say underrated as well. I don't remember what the conversation was about, but I know I was very drunk. And my wife told me there was one time wherever we were in a kind of a rough, we lived in a rougher neighborhood and uh, she made the comment and she got, she goes like, well, what if they have a gun? And I go, I'll bring out my samurai sword. <laughs> and it was this shitty thing I bought off of Amazon. But, uh, but no, the real ones, those are pretty fucking underrated. They're pretty cool looking and they're expensive as hell. But yeah, I'm going to go underrated. How about you, Mike? I think fuck swords. <laughs> that would hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that happened on Epstein Island. Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, I bet it did. Uh-huh. That's terrible. That's that, terrible. That poor fella. <laughs> <laughs> I assume it happened to a guy. Gaddafi got fucked by a sword. Yeah. Yeah, yes, I he guess, did. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm going to, just to be a dick, I'll say that they are overrated. Okay. I, I feel like there's so many... 
like, yeah, if you get a good swing on me, then you're going to get me. But I, I would say baseball bat versus samurai sword. If we go and swing them both at each other and like meet in the middle, mm -hmm. Nine out of ten times, that sword's getting stuck in my bat. <laughs> That's true. And it's not chopping the bat in half and then chopping me in half. <laughs> it's just getting stuck. And then I got a bat and a sword. <laughs> <laughs> One in each hand. Come on, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Which one you want? <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Sex swings. I'm going to go overrated on these. What? Yeah. Um, I've, I've actually used one. <laughs> um, what was his name? Well, it was my uncle at the park when I was a kid. He'd get really handsy. And any swing is a sex swing if you got a handsy uncle. So uh, I'm going to say overrated. Oh, God. Mm, thanks, Uncle Bob. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say underrated, man. I mean, if you've got one in your house, I mean, that's like you don't even have to go to the park anymore. I mean, you just kind of have it in there. You get to you know jump off and stuff like that. I think that'd be kind of fun. That thing would rip right out of my fucking ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> just covered in fucking drywall dust. <laughs> Look like I left the best party ever in the '80s. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> How about you, Mike? <laughs> uh, I'm going to say they're overrated. I uh, I talked about this the last time I was a guest on the show, and I don't like planned sex. <laughs> <laughs> I like sporadic, exciting sex. And if I, you know, anything that takes a setup of some kind. Sure. That's like, I'm going to go get in the swing. And I'm just like, God damn it. Now now we have to complete this. Whereas like if we're just sitting on the couch watching TV and one thing leads to another, then that's more exciting to me than like, do you want to go do the swing thing? It's like, I guess. Give me a fucking chore. <laughs> So take a walk in the park is what you're saying. Just masturbate, but kick your feet <laughs> and you'll right. go higher. Like I want to, I'll, I'll just stand and I want the TV behind the swing and I'll just stand here and you can do whatever swinging you want. Mine is locked in place. I just imagine I'm going to come. I'm going to come. Wee. <laughs> I want to go all the way around. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay, last one. Overrated or underrated? P.E. teachers from the 90s. Go ahead. Oh, man. Go ahead. I mean, I only had the one, and I guess if I had to choose, I would say, yeah, she was underrated. <laughs> I don't think she was appreciated as much. Yeah. Her name was Miss Sharky. Miss Sharky. Uh-huh. Awesome. She had, like, a tight like curly perm on top oh really and uh i that's all i really remember about her i remember she had a shirt on, a sweatshirt on that said germany at one time and <laughs> and and the word nazi was said by me <laughs> <laughs> and i got a big talking to about how those aren't the same thing but all i knew was like indiana jones lore you know yeah. i was like in second grade or something and i was like D are you a nazi and she was like no <laughs> so yeah very very underrated lady. Uh, I would say underrated as well. We may have had a like a sibling uh, uh, connection or something like that. Because <laughs> did you have Miss Parky? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. But I definitely had a uh, a very I don't know big bone like woman with a mullet. Right. Okay. Right. Obviously, bull dyke. I mean, a hundred percent. That was basically well, what it was. But her uh, sexual uh, preference is none of my business. Yeah, that's she true. likes bulls. She likes bulls. <laughs> that's right. Yes. Uh, but no, she, she was great. We had a lot of fun. They had the parachutes and stuff like that. Remember, she did get a little handsy in the parachutes. <laughs> Looking back now, like I know, I definitely got my butt grabbed. No. <laughs> but it was it was the monster doing it. I got it. The parachute yeah. monster. So it was just like giggly and fun. I was never like she just touched my buttocks yeah How inappropriate well but now as a 40 year old i'm like that probably wasn't like i bet she got a little bit of i'm sorry that i said your name Miss <laughs> sharky i i know that you got no joy from touching kids butts i don't know epstein island maybe she's been huh? i don't think so i think she was a great lady <laughs> okay. i really regret saying the, <laughs> that i got my butt touched at, the <laughs> at least parachute. it was spontaneous yeah right she was i, it I think it was planned. just more like a woo just yeah. grabbing it yeah. you know 
<laughs> fingers at anything as she's running around. Oh. And all the kids would, you could, it was like the wave. You could just hear like the wee, the squee from each kid. Oh, is, God. So she literally touched every kid's asshole. <laughs> Prior sheets going down in second grade. Mike's like, I don't like plan sex. <laughs> 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 He's dabbing you, dude. You got a dab on that. Cause that was great. That was a good one. <laughs> How about you, Derek? I'm gonna go overrated. As, I'm gonna go overrated. Okay. Um, I remember one I had. It wasn't in. It was in high school, actually, and it was so stupid, man. We used to have what we had run walk days. So run, you were walk. you were either a runner or you were a walker, and every Tuesday or Thursday. You had to run a mile or walk like a mile and a half. And you had, that was it. That's what you did Tuesdays or Thursdays. And I remember I got so bad because it was like, I was uh, getting ready to graduate because I graduated early. And I remember asking, it was, his name was Mr. Hopkins. And I was like, Hopkins, you're not going to make us run. Are you going to make us run walk today? Because our final was on like Wednesday and it was a Tuesday. And your final for Wednesday is the run walk again in a certain amount of time. And he's like, you know what? You're getting ready to graduate. What are you going to do when you get out in the real world? And I go, drive. <laughs> I was like, I got a car in the parking lot. And he did not like that. No. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, sure he he's did. He's the physical fitness teacher. And yeah. you're like, I'm going to be a piece of shit <laughs> yeah. starting tomorrow. <laughs> I'm going to break both my legs and sit in a chair forever. <laughs> Fuck you, Hopkins. Uh, I do think if if the science would allow me to, I would have both of my arms chopped off for like a year just so I was forced to learn how to use my feet to do shit <laughs> and then get my arms put back on and then just fucking have four, <laughs> like be washing dishes and drying at the same time and like typing something with my toes. Oh, like a goddamn shit. Disney cartoon. Yes, exactly <laughs> like that. Oh, Jesus. All right, well, that was overrated or underrated. Now we get to move on to, I really actually like this segment. It's called Google This. These are actual things that people have typed into Google, and they're absolutely ridiculous. And so we get to answer them any way we want, as if we were Google. First one, Google This. Is Lady Gaga a man? Uh, it says Lady. Did I say? In the title. I know. So, no, Lady Gaga is not a man. I, Her pronouns are she monster. <laughs> okay. Uh, I yeah, I'd say no. She's definitely a gal, uh, but with all of the makeup off of her face, holy shit, she's uglier than sin. So uh, yeah, that's a real woman. She's just uglier than shit. I I think she's cute. Okay, I'd bone her. <laughs> okay, with my wiener. I, unless it was planned, right? It has to be spontaneous. I'm not saying I won't do it. I'm just saying I prefer. I remember one time I I hooked up with a girl and then. Uh, I'd had a Friday Saturday show. I hooked up with her after the Friday show and then we hung out on Saturday also and and she came to the show again which I fucking hated at that point cuz mm -hmm. I was like don't fucking come again. I don't want all the Anyway, so it's me uh the MC and her riding in a car to drop the MC off and then go back to her place and we at some point, I don't know how it came up, but she said yeah, we're going to drop you off, and then we're going to go back to my place, and we're going to fuck. <laughs> and I was just like, no, we're not. <laughs> now that you said that, I don't. And in front of him, like, it's none of his fucking business. Why are you telling him things? And, yeah, I was like, nah, I'm just going to get. I'm tired. I got to go. And wow. It, I, yeah, it weirds me out, man. I'm a weirdo. I know. It's not. It's not weird. I'm, I'm shocked because I'm kind of very similar, actually. Like, I don't. I, it, it's like almost like the pressure starts building on you. Like, am I going to be horrible at this? I just got because now I know it's going to happen. Like, and I, I know that my... you're, like, excited about it. Yes. I prefer for you to be like, <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Go let, ahead. Yeah. I want you to let me have sex with you. Yeah. I don't want you to be excited about it. Yeah. Like, get excited during. Yeah. That's what I like. I can tell you the best way of that is to get married. That's pretty much what happens all the time. She's not at all excited, excited about it. Nope. But that's sometimes it. she's like, ooh, that's nice. Yeah. She's like, I like that. how you're doing that. Yeah. She's like, you got your stupid fucking helmet on again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, how about you? Oh, yeah, you did answer it. Okay. Mm. Uh, next one. Uh, Google this. Is the Earth round? 
It's just big boned. <laughs> <laughs> it's rotund. It's rotund. Well, of yes. course, Google is going to tell you that it is. They're part of the cabal, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust them. Uh, I'm going to duck, duck, go is the earth round. <laughs> Get some truth, oh, finally. Jesus, ask Jeeves. Just ask Jeeves if that was real. <laughs> Let me bing that real quick. <laughs> yeah, somebody, no you shit. know, with all the, like, chat GPT and super yes. AI stuff that's coming out now, somebody was like, we need to give this knowledge to Clippy. Remember Clippy, the little <laughs> oh, guy? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. how cool would that be to have, like, a genuinely knowledgeable Clippy that's like, hey, man, I noticed that you're, uh, I don't know what, trying to get your fucking life together or whatever. <laughs> Do you need some help? <laughs> and you're like, yes, please. Uh, He's like, all right, take this thing and throw it in the fucking trash. Step yeah. one. Uh, my, but, my answer is, uh, yes, the earth is round, but the moon is flat. Yeah, that's what it, that's the way it is. Yeah. I uh, mean, yeah, for sure. How about you? I already answered. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Did Mike? Did you? Like, who got super high oh. before the show? Not we did. I, <laughs> yeah. I did. Were you, were you hot boxing in the fit? <laughs> yeah, we were. We were waiting on you. All right. I was here before. Speaking <laughs> of hot box. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyways. Uh, all right. Next one. Google this. Does my cat love me? No. Your cats don't love anything. It's just using you. Uh-huh. You need to get away. That's right. You're in a toxic relationship. That cat wants to murder you. If you didn't keep giving it food or petting it every once in a while, it would try to murder you. Cats are fucking evil. Just house cats. Lions and tigers, they're cool. But, you know, house cats, they they get into their primal, like, like, Things that they do, you see a cat like looking out the front window of your house, seeing a squirrel, and it just starts doing weird shit. It's just like, ah, uh -huh. ah. it's like, oh yeah, you open the door, that cat's fucking that squirrel up. That's, That's a not even question. Dead on cat impersonation. It totally that was is. a good cat. Oh, they're fucking psychopaths. I've I I've had a few great cats in my life, and I I mean I guess it must be me. Yeah, because they've be. just always been my cats. But yeah, we had a female cat. We didn't find out it was female until years later. So its name was Martin, and <laughs> Martin <laughs> should not pick Martin up would the not, tail. Yeah, no, I, we didn't know what oh. a cat dick looks like. <laughs> I'm Barbed. like, yeah, I don't know. It all looks like butthole to me. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. But uh. he would let me pick him up and hold him like a baby and like touch his belly and shit. Yeah, and I've had other cats that's like if you touch anywhere near its under side you're getting fucking yep. scratch or bit or something but he liked it and he would just sit there for hours i'd just watch tv smoke weed and shit and he would and I'd blow it in his face every once in a while maybe he was high i don't know it doesn't matter that's not important he was fucking a, do whatever man yeah, just blow more of that shit in my face no like i would get home from wherever i was and he would be at my feet within a minute like dude pick me up and hold me like a baby and i'd be like fuck yeah i will martin <laughs> miss martin miss <laughs> Martin. I always wondered because I'm like deathly allergic to cats. If that means I'm like allergic to lions and tigers yes. and all that shit. Yes, 100. You will be. You, if that would suck, man. Mm -hmm. If you got man. out into the wilderness yeah. and a whole herd of lions or whatever they're called and I'm, got around you and decided to not eat you, <laughs> and they're like, they, "We're gonna, we're gonna support this random <laughs> monkey that showed up," <laughs> and then you just fucking die from an al allergic reaction. Or like if I'm getting mauled by a lion and I'm like itchy. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> right. Worse. Yeah, these huge lacerations suck, but uh, yeah. man, they itch God everywhere. I would definitely rather get eaten by a lion than by hyenas. Oh, for sure. Because a lion, cats do the thing where they get you by the jugular and until you fucking bleed out. Yes. Yeah. But hyenas will start at your butthole. <laughs> yes. And try to get to your guts as quick as they can, that's, and you're just alive the whole time. That's one hundred percent true. And that's number seven on my list of worst ways to die. <laughs> uh, but no, the that only is what Bob has to look forward to. Yeah, no <laughs> joke. Uh, but no, the only reason why I know this is actually my my uh, really good buddy. I've talked about him before, Steve, Steve Eater. Um, he uh, he actually was, um, uh, he worked for the zoo for many years and he's allergic to cats and he is also very allergic to all of the like lions and leopards and shit like that that we have at the zoo. Because it's the dander. It's the dander that most people are allergic to. So there you go. So in theory, I could 
kill 40 cats and make a yep a suit mm-hmm. and then wear it into where there's lions and they'd be like what's up other lion <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know but you could give it a shot let us know how we, it goes we couldn't help but notice your dander <laughs> <laughs> you're clearly one of us absolutely <laughs> oh shit okay so other lion <laughs> <laughs> next question google this is god a woman over the last like five years with how bitchy everything's been getting, I'm going to say maybe uh, it's uh, been kind of bipolar on earth for the last like five to six years. So yeah, there's good possibility. How about you, Mike? Uh, I don't know how religious I am or whatever, but I like the idea of imagining that we're in a simulation mm-hmm. and the dude who ran it for so long, mm-hmm. like moved on to better things or retired or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And now some broads in there, like <laughs> I can do computers too. And it's like, you fucking, you're sending spy balloons over the strongest country in America. You don't do that. That's not how this simulation works. Right. How about you, Derek? I'm gonna go uh, 100% yes. Really? Yeah, I think so. Because like it, they are, they're always digging up the past. <laughs> oh I wow! Think so. So, like, okay, yeah. fine. Uh, last question. Google this. Why aren't there dinosaur ghosts? There are, but only other dinosaurs can see them. Oh, is that how that works? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'll be damned. Um, I think this is a real answer. This is actually a real answer. I think that there aren't any dinosaur ghosts because they're not sentient beings, right? So yeah. they they they're not they don't have sent they don't they can't think of themselves existing. That's what sentience is, and so therefore they just don't have the ability of getting ghosts. And all of the people that think about like dogs having ghosts and cats having ghosts, it's bullshit too. So yeah, that's the real answer. What about horse ghosts? I don't think so. I think horses consider themselves a thing maybe <laughs> dolphins on the other hand there's definitely dolphin ghosts but we're never at the oceans we can't see them oh man that would be a cool yeah. wouldn't that be a Fuck crazy yeah. sight to see absolutely let's go, let's go see the dolphin, dolphin ghost yeah dude that, absolutely that'd be a good album title or <laughs> band <laughs> name or Jeremy's something bands yeah, yeah. The dolphin ghost we're dolphin, go ghost. See dolphin ghost <laughs> uh let's see how about you they're too heavy to float. They're too heavy to float. That's huh? what I think. Okay. Yeah. I was at the museum. I saw some dinosaur bones. Yeah. But I did not see any dinosaur ghosts. Wow. Okay. All it's, right. It's like that. Uh, well, it's not like this at all, but it made reminded me of a thing of this. Uh, it's an old story. I wish I could read the actual thing to you, but I'll just tell it. It's uh, right here. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> it will be momentarily. <laughs> no, but it's a story about a guy who goes to a, a person that grants wishes. I don't know if it's a genie or whatever, but he wishes to turn into a horse because he, you know, sees how like carefree they are and whatever. And he has troubles in his life and some bullshit or whatever. So the guy's like, all right, I'll turn you into a horse. And then it's like the transformation process of like, he feels his arms elongating and his fists getting hooves, hoofy and whatever. And, but then there's like a split second where he is still human enough to remember that he, asked to turn into a horse but he can feel all these horse thoughts coming on and and he has this moment of panic where he's like fuck like i'm not even gonna know that i wished to do this i'm just gonna be a stupid fucking horse like this guy's turning me all the way into a horse i wanted to be like a dude who was a horse that could think like a dude and and then the guy thinks like what was I before I decided to be a human that I thought being a human would be like a peaceful step down? Yeah. Right. All right. Turns Whatever. Out, Sorry. Turns, this, out, he, turns this, out he was a horse first. This is a comedy <laughs> podcast. Sorry. No, everybody. you're good, man. Turns out he was a horse that wished he was a human. Yeah, absolutely. Man. That's what it was. <laughs> this sucks. I want to be a dude. This is bullshit. <laughs> Okay, well, that was uh, Google this. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, that's uh, Spanish questions, by the way, there, Mike. That's what preguntas are. I was going to ask. Okay, no, I just I'm figured. glad that you sure. read my mind. Happy to clear that up. Uh, so we're going to start off with the very first question. Uh, first question is, things you don't expect to hear when holding a seashell to your ear. Uh, a hermit crab doing a terrible impression of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Whoosh. <laughs> huh, this is oh, oh yeah. <laughs> ah, ah. 
uh, I actually, I, I have uh, a good one. I, I thought, have you seen the TikToks where ever somebody's like doing something really dangerous and all of a sudden it breaks off and it, they sing that song, Dumb Ways to Die, uh-huh. like that? It's like, you put that up to your, you hear it and you're like, oh, fuck, like what's going to happen? That, that's what I think. Okay. Mike? Uh, I just said uh, multiverse oceans. Like people think that like you put the seashell up to your ear and you're hearing like the blood flowing through your head and it's echoing in there. But what if it's really like an ocean just on another earth in a different universe <laughs> and it's like a, a super technological way to communicate? Yeah. Like that's the only way to communicate between the multiverses, seashells. But nobody is because we have time differences. Oh, okay. So it's like nobody picks up the seashell. How fucked up would that be to just be listening? And then hear somebody be like, hello? Like, oh, shit. Hello? Like, I feel like we need to give Earth a number. Oh, sure. Now. Okay. Just in case it ever comes up. So then we can be like, we're Earth 616 if we're the Marvel Universe or whatever. <laughs> and they can be like, but then, uh, whatever. Okay. Uh, next question. What would be your weapon of choice in a zombie apocalypse? Mike's fucking really cool sword bat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would be a good one. <laughs> it's not a sword bat. It's just a sword and a bat separately. One in each hand. Well, it got stuck in the bat, I thought. Yeah. Oh, well. So he could swing the bat like a baseball right, swing and yeah. cut some... And it would just, what, hit you with the butt of the sword? <laughs> and the zombie would be like, ooh! <laughs> He would still be zombie, though, you know? <laughs> uh, I picked uh, Kevin McAllister's house. Oh, yeah. Okay. Fuck, yeah. That would be awesome. Just unlimited ammo, like paint cans for days and, and micro machines out on the floor so they could so they'd know, slip on they'd, them. They'd Kevin McAllister. I just, a zombie. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I wrote uh, the hook shot from Zelda. Okay. I just think that would be cool to be able to like shoot a dart on a chain. It's sort of the same thing as what Scorpion uses in, oh, in yeah. Mortal Kombat. It's like a get over here, but okay. but the zombies are weak and like all their shit's falling apart. <laughs> so you just hit them right in the forehead with it. It destroys their head and then it comes right back to you. Fuck yeah. You that can just sounds... fucking hook shot, hook shot, hook shot, hook shot. Okay. <laughs> zombies <laughs> down. And then, and then you're standing there with your fucking bat sword. <laughs> I'll get any that get past you there, Mike. <laughs> I'll finish them off for you. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, next question. <laughs> Things that a 15-year-old can say, but a 30-year-old cannot. I sent my 15-year-old girlfriend a dick pic. <laughs> oh, yeah? Th- that would be one. Yeah, mine's basically the same. <laughs> <laughs> mine says, man, I can't wait to fuck a 17-year-old. <laughs> I said, I said, I, I got my first blowjob today. <laughs> if you're 30 and that happens, poor you. I mean, it's it, that's another thing. Everything <laughs> is happening to somebody, yeah. and there is a 30-year-old who just got blown today <laughs> for the first time, probably, and it's, probably it's opened up a whole new world, and he probably listens to this show. <laughs> yeah. He's a fan of us. Actually, okay. Actually, I got another one. Look, sweet. It's Epstein Island. <laughs> that's my other one. Because you're 15. Yeah. And you're like, all these chicks are 15 also. Yeah. <laughs> Not is... as a 30-year-old, though. Uh, all right. Uh, next one. If Mexico were to spy on Americans, what would they do? Speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I live in America. We only speak English here, <laughs> motherfucker. Ah, uh, shit. I have Trojan Pinata. Damn it. I had something kind of along the same line. <laughs> what, did you, what, what was yours? It was kind of like a, it was like a Trojan horse kind of thing. Just like send them in. Uh-huh. And that's actually what happens after the wall's built. They send in that Trojan donkey is what I was going to say. They send that in and that's how they get them all in there. So, yeah. I, I just imagined a scenario where every person who has illegally entered our country in the last five years or whatever has like a tiny piece of a giant m- machine oh, yeah. in their butthole. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why all of these people, are, they're like, here, just take this screw. That's all you need. Because then if you get caught with a screw, nobody's like, they're just like, what the fuck? Was this an accident? <laughs> 
<laughs> but they're like they're not gonna be like this goes to the machine. <laughs> All right. Uh, last. You put this in Burt Kreischer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, last one. What would your porn star name be? Go ahead. Justin Beaver. Okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. I like that one. I wrote Crying Brian. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Derek? Uh, Mike Rodick. <laughs> what? Mike Rodick? Yeah. Oh, I like it. That's I, very self like that's that's honest with yeah, yourself. You I got know? I got one for JP, even though he's not here. Oh, what you got? Gilbert Gape. <laughs> oh God. I feel like there's a story Yikes. and I don't want to know it. Yeah. <laughs> he's gay. All right. I also wrote uh Soft Johnson. <laughs> Jesus. It's my nickname. Ladies call me soft. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, everybody. Well, that is questions and preguntas for this week. Again, if you have any suggestions for any of these uh, segments, you can send them to us at our Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines. Uh, but yeah, uh, but now we get to move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines draft. Uh, Over this last week, we did uh, our favorite shoes on the last episode, and uh, Derek fucking won somehow. This is bullshit. Because I picked dope shit. No, you don't. (laughs) Yes, I do. I had the fucking Reebok pumps, man. Mm -hmm. Those were awesome. What did Derek pick that was so much better? The Jordan 12s. The Jordan 12s. I had the Nike Air Mags. Yeah. The Back to the Future shoes. The Back to the Future shoes. Was the Air Penny people. Foam Posits. The Back to the Future shoes is probably what sent it over. Probably. I, I, I and I'm mad that they don't actually exist yet. Oh, they do. Man. They do. What? The, yeah. like, that yeah, formed, formed your, your foot? Feet? Nike yeah. Air Mags. Yeah. yeah they, they made like a very limited amount of pairs. They're like 10 grand for a pair. Yeah. Like, they're stupid. all stupid. So they don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Uh, but yeah, so that means that uh, Derek gets championship picks uh, for this week. I did come in second, so I get the sandwich picks, and Mike wasn't here, so Mike gets first pick. Uh, but this week's draft is going to be uh, our favorite buffet foods, foods you find at a buffet. Uh, so Mike, you get your first pick for buffet foods. Uh, I got to go with those chicken wings. Okay. It doesn't matter what buffet you're at in the world. They've got the same chicken wings. Really? And they're fucking good. (laughs) My dad used to, it would be me, my mom, my dad, and my two sisters, and we would go to a, uh, our local buffet was Ponderosa at the time. Uh Uh-huh. And we would each get our own plate, and then my dad would get a plate of only chicken wings for the center of the table. Okay. And we are all fat, so. That makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, my number one pick, I think you have to take it because not all buffet places have it. But if they do and it's an all-you-can-eat buffet, you're you're getting your money back with as many crab legs as you can fucking eat. Fuck. That was He's it. crossing shit off. Oh, yeah. yeah, dude. I'm not a big fan. Of crab legs? I like. I only like crab when my mom breaks one open, pulls it out, and goes, here, do you want this? Uh, I don't like doing all the shit. I want to uh, pick up my food and fucking eat it. I don't want to do work. I don't know. I think the work is what makes the crab that much better because you're like, I'm working for it, motherfucker. But the best part is, yeah, if it's an eighteen ninety nine buffet, you get yourself four things of crab and it's paid for itself so that's yeah, true that's mine you're you're basically making money exactly that's right uh, how about you Derek? every time you would go to the buffet there's like that guy at the end that's slicing the meat oh uh, yeah yeah so that stuff it's either usually it's either like ham brisket. i've seen it be prime rib i've seen it be brisket but that guy but, but that guy the yeah the, the guy that the meat the meat the sliced meat the sliced meat, meat. Guy. okay yeah. Sliced meat guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he wants. He wants that sliced meat guy. He yeah, just wants right. the guy. He's probably yeah, he's probably got a bat sword. Sliced my meat. Sliced meat. That is perfect. Yes. There you go. Uh, you get one more pick. Um, I am gonna go with egg rolls. Oh, that is a good one. A little bit out of left field there. No, it's not because I was kind of going in that part of the world because I, I am going to take with my second pick. I'm gonna go with lo mein. Mm. Okay. That's. Uh, you just, it's really hard to fuck up lo mein. You know what I'm saying? 
Uh, for me, it depends on the crunchiness of the onion chunks okay. that are in it. Well, that's because you pick out the onions. Uh, We've had this discussion. Yeah, because they're <laughs> fucking terrible. <laughs> they're, Is it my turn? They're mm-hmm. dog shit. Yeah, you get two in a row, dude. We're all on the same wavelength here because my choice is Crab Rangoon. Oh, uh, okay. okay. <laughs> I, we're all imagining the Chinese buffet yeah, that's for the moment. That's right. But now let me transfer my mind to the Golden Corral. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm obviously gonna say chocolate fountain oh. <laughs> motherfucker oh no you could have had that late in my opinion but Derek sounds like he was wanting to get it uh, oh fucking hey absolutely really yeah that thing's awesome dude <laughs> look at me that you, is you, disgusting i have chocolated everything oh, at God. golden corral that's not true, but I'm sure I've chocolated a few things. The things that they give you to chocolate, they give you marshmallows and maybe like some crackers or some strawberries or whatever mm-hmm. it is. Uh, I've just done chocolate. I've yeah. just like held the spoon under it mm-hmm. and like taken bites of, of the chocolate. Of course you have because it makes my teeth hurt. <laughs> It's Jesus. too much sugar. Oh God! It sounds like it. But if you're at if you're at Golden Corral, you're not there to like watch your weight or whatever. No, <laughs> that's why it pissed me off during COVID when they were like, "You can come in and get a, a box to go," <laughs> and I'm like, "That defeats the whole purpose of the buffet <laughs> idea." Like, yeah, I don't, yeah. I get it because there's a shitload of it, and I can just eat till it hurts. That's right. I don't get it because it's good. That's right. Uh, so I guess I'm going to go with one that, it, again, if you go to a buffet, it's so hard to fuck it up. I've only been to maybe one or two buffets in my entire life where they have fucked up mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. Mac and cheese is always good. It seems like, and I mean, there's very few places I can fuck that up. So that's, that's going to be my, uh, my next pick. Good choice. Derek, you get two. Pizza. <clears throat> God damn it. That's mm, a good one yeah. too. From where though? Hell, I don't know anywhere really. Yeah. Pizza Hut buffet. That's, Ooh, a, that, that's a really good one. Have yeah. you been to Pizza Ranch? Uh, I've had their pizza and their chicken. Yeah, it's good. Not it, been there, but I've had it catered. It makes it better if it's buffet style because okay. then you can get multiple pieces of pizza that you wouldn't even normally choose, and you're like, I'll try the chicken Alfredo. That's I guess. not fucking pizza. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not. It's it fits the definition. Oh God, it's not. It's bread with a sauce on it and toppings. And meat. Yeah, Yeah, no. Um, Okay. Oh, you get another one. I'm a sucker for hot rolls. Hot? Ooh. Yeah. If they have honey butter. Yeah. Oh, Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I actually think that that's the only reason why you go to Texas Roadhouse. You can get a steak. It's not a buffet. It's not. It's not. But I didn't get you. Um, But no, it's you can go and make a steak better for yourself at home. But you don't get the rolls. So I think people go to Texas Roadhouse just because of the fucking rolls. That sounds good. I'm hungry. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah I'm going to go home and eat dinner. <laughs> I know. Um, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna go back to the Chinese buffet, man. Okay. Um, I don't care. It's, it's probably one of my favorite things to get from a Chinese restaurant, and that is the sweet and sour chicken. Mm, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to go with that. And then, uh, Mike, you get to close it out with your last two picks. Um, okay. Well, they're not good. Okay. Um, I'm still, in my mind, I'm still at Golden Corral, and I like their meatloaf. Okay. Okay. It's it's always in tiny, tiny pieces, so it's like, you're probably not going to like this. Don't take it all. Okay. Just take a little piece, and then I I always like it, even though I don't like onions. And it often has chunks of onion in it. It's, it's soft and, like, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay, and I have to pick again. You got it's, one more. I got to pick a dessert of some kind. Like, if I'm still in uh, Golden Corral world, but now if I'm in Chinese buffet world, their desserts are, like, not as good but sometimes they have ice cream oh god (laughs) if they have the ice cream dispenser with the handle and then they have the little area of fixins that you can put with the sprinkles sprinkles or chocolate chips or whatever yeah i'm I'm going what do we call that the ice cream sunday bar no yeah, that it's probably dispenser. What it is. Dispen- <laughs> like, ice cream ah, dispenser. This, it's a Sunday bar. Yeah, yeah, make a little Sunday. If it's got a, if it's got half bananas in there, okay, they're fucking. It's the best buffet ever. All right, go for it. 
dumb. Um, okay. <laughs> I guess uh, I kind of have the same thing over mm-hmm. and over again, so I don't want to do that. Meatloaf, right? No. <laughs> no. He Gumballs. So when you get done. He wasn't even a very good singer. Um, mm, the fortune cookies. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine. Keep on giving me ideas down yes, there, buddy. Stop it. Um, I, <laughs> gosh, dang it. I don't really know. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end on this one. I, Cause I do, I like a lot of Asian food, but I'm going to go with the, uh, the sushi, the sushi rolls. Ooh, good luck on that. I'm telling you, man, right? it, it depends. <laughs> it depends on the, the, the actual buffet that you go to. But I mean, if you go to the ones that they're actually like making it when you, when you get there, it hasn't been sitting out for weeks or some shit like yeah. that, then that's different. But I know of a place and it's, uh, they're, it's pretty good. So Derek, your last and final pick, go for it. I don't know exactly what they're called, but Mike brought it, had mentioned something about it and it made me think of it. Those Chinese sugar donut biscuits. Oh, okay. Those are the shit. Yeah. I fucking love those things. My mom used to make those. Really? She would buy like a can of biscuits and then she would just crinkle them up into little balls and like deep fry them. Oh, yeah. And then pull them out and sprinkle sugar all over them. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were good. They were like poor. Sometimes she would do a donut thing in the middle, like with a, I don't know what, a little cup shaped thing that's yeah. much smaller than a biscuit. Okay. And we would have like little fake donuts and donut holes and stuff. God, that sounds fucking good. Too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just hungry this is now, a man. Stupid fucking idea yeah, to do food for a draft. Let's all go eat. This okay. is the spot of the high that you're at now. Yeah, I know. I'm right. like, fuck, yeah. man. Are you going to eat that chip? <laughs> go ahead. Uh, go ahead. I help yourself. It. I don't want to. I got another one right up there. Speaking of opening things, uh-huh. oh, are we done? Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and do that. But before we do that, um, that is uh, that is this week's draft. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote for your favorite list of uh, the favorite things on the buffet or at the buffet uh, by clicking on the corresponding emoji. That'll be up on Wednesday, normally right around noon. Um, let's vote for Mike. I think we should vote for well, Mike. Well, don't this time. tell him to. I would like, just not Derek. They always tell him not to vote for me. And he wins. I'm so dominant. He's so dominant. I it think sucks. I think that you should just choose the foods that you like okay, the most. Okay, or and, that, and not That's support fine. a person. I think you should support Mike. Thank you, Mike. No problem. <laughs> vote for me. But it, yeah, exactly. <laughs> please. Yeah, but anyways, that is our laughing on the sidelines draft and. Uh, well, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation of the Week. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Shitty Situation, sponsored by Fanger Bang Beer and... What's in the box? We actually do have a what's in the box this week, oh. but this week, Mike Baldwin's going to open it. Mike, go do ahead and I? get the box. It's right there. Okay. Got a knife right there. Here's a, a it's random a box. box. It is a random box. I don't know. I don't. It you probably who it's from there. It's yeah, it actually does say who it's from. from. So there. thank you, by the way, this this oh, person. Thanks, Dylan Reed there. Reedeman. Rodman? Rodman? Yeah, Rodman. That reminds me of that uh, episode of Family Guy where the guy's like, uh, we will g- destroy your country on the third day of Rodman. <laughs> and then they all laugh because he's like, did I say Rodman? What is, is Dennis Rodman going to come? And- uh, Dylan Rodman is my born name. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hold on. I'm trying to. It's taped up pretty good. Oh, it's stuck. Oh, get, oh. It. No. get it. There, ah. there you go. Ah, thanks, buddy. Hopefully. Okay, ready? Yeah, does yeah. It, is it ticking? First off, oh, it's a Uh-oh. crown royal. It's bag. a crown royal bag. Please be full of weed. It's full of oh, it's weed. There, <laughs> dick dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, Ty- tyrannosaurus dicks. <laughs> That one hit the chocolate fountain. Oh, my There's God. There's a brown one and a blue one and a red one and a black one. <laughs> that one should be bigger than all the others. That is not right. And a white one. Oh. And there's doubles of everything. <laughs> Are these coming in on the screen here? I don't know. No, they're not. Fantastic. You got to get them. You got to put put. Here thing. comes the airplane. <laughs> the box of dicks <laughs> is coming at you. 
<laughs> this one has hair all over the tip of it. I don't know what happened to that poor guy. He needs the lawnmower 4.0 is what he, it that's needs. That's exactly what he needs. <laughs> why did, why do they all have fuzzies on them? Look, I, oh, no. they're growing the fryer tuck, I guess. <laughs> that's it's, right, it's, yeah. Uh, this is a terrible view, you guys. But <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of giving it to you. It's actually pretty that's not bad. That's pretty fucking great. That is pretty fucking that great. That bending over showing you its butthole. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's actually kind of neat. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. That's okay. They're okay. Oh, shit. How, who comes up with this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who's really funny. Oh, perfect. There you go. Put that, and hopefully that's right in the line of Derek's face. It is. That's There's awesome. There's a note here. There is a note. Okay. Oh. Enjoy the bag of Dickasaurus. <laughs> Scotty, try not to choke on them. <laughs> Tell JP I can make these eight inches tall or a regular dick about 12 inches tall and as girthy as his heart desires. Oh, shit. Hell, I can do whatever color he wants. Love the show. <laughs> Keep doing you. Maybe just find a new host. Uh, thanks, man. P.S. P.S. The blue ones glow in the dark if you charge them with a flashlight. Oh, oh wow. Wow. P.P.S. If you want more, just let me know. Instagram is Reitman97. Reitman That's awesome. That's really So I cool. think he made these. Yeah, he, I think he I, 3D printed yeah. them. I just like how they... <laughs> <laughs> they have balls. I like how they got it the exact size as my dick. I, know, I just think right? that's cool. That's great. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you very much, Dylan. I that appreciate it. That is fucking fail. They got fucking... <laughs> that's going to hurt Dragon. No yeah. That is, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. He said Dickosaurus. I like Tyrannosaurus Dorf dicks. dicks. <laughs> that's great. Dicks with an X, of that, course. Of course. <laughs> that way it's cool. Oh, man. That's great. Well, you can... Hold on. I just want to... <laughs> oh, they do glow in the dark a little bit. <laughs> That's great. You can put them on the ground if you what want. What if like something slipped and that gave you a black eye and then you had to explain <laughs> to everybody how God, you got it? It sounds like a fucking board game from the eighties. <laughs> That's gonna be my new Monopoly character. Who wants to play dicks? <laughs> dicks around the world. Dicks and ladders. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what your uh, wife's nickname should have been. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks, Dylan. Appreciate it's it. Fucking, I love it. I'm taking yeah, a dick should, home with me. That uh, should totally be fucking the board game tokens. That should be. I think I have sorry. I want dicks for sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation this week is: Would you rather? Uh, have the same name as a person on the sex offender list or have the same name of a person who was caught fucking an animal in Florida. <laughs> so yeah. when, the, when, so they, when Google they Google you, you that this is up. what pops up. Sex offender or fucked an alligator in Florida. Or not an alligator, just any kind of animal. Yeah, alligator. That the Florida Gators. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I feel like fucking an animal would still put you on some sort of list. <laughs> I'm sure. Why am I on the list if I don't fuck the animal? <laughs> that's what I want to know. You're I, on Peta's list because yeah. I got. <laughs> that's right. Back when I still drank, I got arrested for making love to a woman in a public restroom. Oh, God. And I got charged with being lewd and lascivious, which is the same charge that they give you if you show your wiener to a kid. Oh, so my God. So I had to pay thousands of dollars to not be put on the sex offenders list. Oh, my. For hooking up with a drunk girl in the bathroom. And she... Got charged with nothing. Of course she didn't. That's so, the way it works. So then I texted her and I was like, hey, so we're going to split this or what? And she's like, <laughs> no. Like, that's your... Oh, I wow. feel like that's that's equal to, are you going to give me money to go to the clinic? <laughs> I'm like, so are you going to split my lewd and lascivious charge with me? Are we going Dutch on this or what? Yeah, But there's... yeah, I would pick that one. I would rather just have a generic... Sex offender? sex offender. I'm just some kind of a sex offender. Because oh. then I could lie or tell the truth. This is true. And be like, no, I was just peeing. I just peed in the park. <laughs> yeah, I was just peeing too. And yeah, there was a too. there was a picnic nearby. Yeah. No, I was just peeing, and then an alligator walked by. <laughs> 
turn me on. Now keep in mind, it's not actually you. It's somebody it's else somebody with your else name. With your name. Oh, so I'm not doing any of these things. You're not yeah. I'm actually. like, I'd rather fuck an alligator. <laughs> no. No, yeah. Mike, you don't get to. It's like, yeah, Google me at Mike. Google Mike Baldwin, and then boom, that pop. But it's not you. It's just some fucking dumbass in Florida. Or, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, either way, I uh, feel like the person wouldn't want to go on a date with me after. I agree. Yeah. And, and that's kind of the thing. I, 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 I was joking before the, we started recording this, this segment, but Mike said that, no, I almost beca- was considered a sex offender. And I was just like, oh, me too. I bet you our story is a lot alike. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> no. What, what's yours? So mine was actually, I was, uh, I was, uh, I think a, maybe a sophomore in high school. I was 16. And she was nine. And she was 14. Oh. And so that made it to where, yeah, it's and it's like, holy shit, it's two years apart. And she, yeah, but anyways, it nothing came of it, so it was okay. But Was it more uh, of just like a threat from an angry parent? Exactly what it was. Like, you could be in jail for this. Uh, walked in on us, actually, uh, when we were eight, when I was 18 and she was uh, 16. So, yeah. and see, that's where, that's where it comes in where it's like, Oh yeah, yeah, you definitely could have. And it's like, Oh, that's not good. And I'm sure that there's a guy in jail right now. That's like, we were in love in <laughs> high school. Exactly. I just failed a year. So I happened to be 18. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah, that sucks. It sucks. Uh, but no, I, I would, uh, I, I'm going to go with the sex offender list specifically because of that. It's so broad that it's not like, Hey, he touched a kid. It could be very easily be. The stories that you and I both have, and which kind of makes it a gray area, which there is no gray area if you fucked a goddamn animal. Right. So right. I didn't so come. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, doesn't matter, dude. Yeah, you fucked an al- you're, alligator. You're an alligator fucker for the rest of your life. <laughs> you should have seen his hide. He wanted it. Uh-huh. Yeah. My mom walked in on me. <laughs> having sex with yourself. <laughs> having sex with myself yes there's no and another girl or anything <laughs> no dance. and nor it was uh I, well you don't need to hear the whole story <laughs> no, but okay. it was after gym class so i had my gym clothes on which oh. are like comfy and loose and, and stretchy yeah. i was yeah i was just relaxing i was tired i turned on mtv the grind was on <laughs> if you remember the grind mm-hmm. which was just chicks in bikinis just dancing, dancing. And I was like, all right. And normally if I was at home in the middle of the day and I was going to pleasure myself, I would just do like a quick under like waistband under the balls sort of thing. But not on this day. (laughs) On this day, I went pants all the way down and still around one ankle. And so I was just spread as much as I could be. And my mom just busted into my room and she goes, can I have the cordless (laughs) fuck? Sorry, I just closed the door, and I didn't talk to her for two days. Oh, God. And then we never spoke of it again after that. Kids will never understand how difficult porn was to, to have access to whenever we were kids. Oh, I mean, I didn't have access to it you at all. I and I didn't. I my dad had a whole bunch of Playboys See? and stuff, Same. and I, I had a next door neighbor who was a couple years older than me, so he was like, "Let's look at the Playboys," and I just wasn't yeah. old enough to be into that yet, and he would take one and like go to the bathroom and i'm like i don't know what he's doing in there (laughs) and like we would me and him and the other neighbor boys found like porn tapes in my dad's top drawer and we put one in and and i swear to god to this day i really did have to take a shit (laughs) so we watched like two minutes of this porn and i was like i gotta go take a shit guys and they're like sure you do and I hadn't even started <laughs> touching myself or anything. So I was like, I don't know why you guys are mocking me or whatever. I, like, I people take shits. Oh, yeah. All, all that happened was their cable's out. I don't know what happened next. Yeah, right. I'm not even interested in this movie. Oh. It's no good. I don't recognize anybody. The acting but. is terrible. <laughs> yeah. Is bad. that my mom? <laughs> oh, God. I got a shit now. <laughs> <laughs> all right Derek how about you sex I, offender or fucking animal I am gonna go with the fucking animal oh my god if they google my name and that pops up and some rando in Florida fucked an animal I would rather that happen and here's why oh it's better be good there's gonna be a picture of the guy with his <laughs> mug shot 
and you will clearly see that it is not me. What if he sort I of resembles you, though? I, yeah, that's no, great. That wasn't in the. That wasn't. The it thing. was not in the description. Yeah, you are correct. They pull yes. it up actually, and it's actually Dan from Australia that is basically your doppelganger. And yeah, and and he fucked an uh, an alligator in Australia. Why is it alligator? And why or crocodile? How sorry. Did, but how did you survive this ordeal? The crocodile liked it. And was just like, I'm, this is this cool. This is good. Yeah, man. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going with the animal because there will be a mug shot of that guy. <laughs> and, and it's like, I Googled this guy. There is no fucking way that <laughs> this guy in Kansas fucked an alligator in Florida. Absolutely. There is no way. I have to ask about this because this is hilarious. Whereas... It's like I Google this guy. He's on a sex offender list. Like, like I'm not even gonna talk to him. Yeah, like I'm to done. ask him because yeah. it's not like you're gonna be like, why are you on that list? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Is it something fun and innocent? And you're yeah. like, actually, it's not <laughs> at all. Yeah, and I'd prefer that we didn't speak about it if that's okay with you. <laughs> Holy shit! Like if you're if you're on that list for fucking an alligator. That's one thing, but like if if you're on that list and you're somebody with your names on that list for being a sex offender list, people are some people are going to not listen to the show anymore. Probably, yeah, they're like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, you lose friends and shit over that. Hey, man, it's, it's Wednesday. Let's listen to the alligator fucker. <laughs> <laughs> that guy is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Valid point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's fucking great. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> shit. Oh, God damn Let's it. listen to the gator raper. <laughs> <laughs> no, he liked it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man. Great episode as usual. Um, Brought thanks. to you by High Boy Burgers yeah. in Independence, Missouri. Gotta Go get a it. burger. Tell them Mike Baldwin sent you. That's right. Um, son of a <laughs> bitch, Mike, it's always great to have you on the show. Sincerely do appreciate it. Hope you come on the show more often. I just came right now. Good. Nice. <laughs> Good no, you. he was taking a shit. <laughs> I really had to take a shit. I, I really. came on the show. <laughs> oh, you did. No, it's awesome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Go to MikeIsFunny.com if you want to see me be an idiot or whatever. And Absolutely. Come see me in your town. We got a big comedy tour that hasn't been set up yet, but hopefully somebody watching this is going to contact me and set it up. <laughs> <laughs> Good grief. I was going to ask, do you have any up to, upcoming dates at all that you know of? Yeah, I'm going to Gilbert, Arizona the 1st of uh, March. The Actually, it's the 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, I believe. I'm going up to Seattle. I'm doing like the Vachon something or other theater and Bainbridge or something. Yeah, Bainbridge, yeah. Um, there's some theaters up there that I'm doing uh, on April Fool's Day, I believe, and the day after that. Or the last day of March and the 1st of April, something. I don't know. They'll all be on my website, well, which I will update after I leave here because it's not updated <laughs> as I say this right now. But Fair enough. Yeah, I got some shit. Check me out. Absolutely. Uh, well, thank you very much. We sincerely do appreciate it. Thank you guys for uh, for supporting this, uh, this podcast. We sincerely appreciate that, too. Um, we continue to grow, which is really awesome. Um, so thank you guys very, very much for commenting, liking, and sharing our TikToks. And as always, if you don't already, uh, subscribe to our Instagram page and TikTok or anywhere else you can find us at Laughing on the Sidelines. Thank you guys so much. And as we always like to say, guys, if you like us, do us a favor and tell your friends. But if you don't like us, uh, we hope you go to a Kansas City Blades game and get crushed to death by a rogue Zamboni. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't like us, tell your enemies. And until next time, guys give your balls a tug <laughs> <laughs> until next time keep laughing assholes we will see y'all later take care <laughs>